stop whatever you are doing as this is the hottest news in the market right now. The next version of Mid Journey, version 5, was announced late last night and I have been playing with this for the last 24 hours. It has brought some exciting new changes to what you can do with Mid Journey. Look at these photorealistic images I got while playing around with this new version. In this video, I will break down the most important things you should know about Mid Journey version 5 and we will also try to make some images to see the difference in results between these two versions. Hi everyone, Armagan here. If you are new to the channel, you should consider subscribing as I discuss all the new happenings in the AI marketplace and how we can try and earn money from these new tools. That being said, let's dive directly into Mid Journey's Discord announcements. The first thing they point out is how to get version 5 working for you. Although they have not mentioned it anywhere in the announcement tab, but to access version 5, you have to be on one of the paid options of Midjourney. It is not yet available if you are just trying the free trial. So to get version 5 working for you, you can type forward slash settings and you will get this menu page. You can see that it has all these previous versions of Midjourney available. You can just go and opt for the Midjourney version 5 if you want to and it will turn green. Another option you have is to type dash dash v space 5 in your prompt and mid journey will understand that it needs to give you an output using the latest version 5. All in all, the focus of mid journey version 5 is to give you photorealistic images. They have tried to improve a lot of features here and there but the crux of the matter is that now you will be able to produce images that are much closer to reality. Don't get me wrong, version 4 was amazing at what it could do. In fact, I loved it so much that I decided to start a business using Midjourney where I'm trying to earn $10,000 in the next 9 months. You should definitely check out this video if you haven't. Anyways, so in version 4, we were used to seeing these over the top images that looked like they were some kind of CGI with all those colors and details. In version 5, what I've realized up till now is that they are going for more realistic outputs. There are a lot of examples that we will discuss in the next few minutes where you will see how it has all changed. But this is an image of a beautiful girl extracted from V4 and V5. I use the same prompt for both these images and you can clearly see the difference. Version 5 is much closer to what we expect if we take out our phone or a camera and take a picture of an actual human being. Again, version 4 is also really beautiful but it has that element of painting and illustration in the picture. In this version 5 of Mid Journey, the image quality is two times better than what we saw in version 4 or at least that is what they have claimed. In fact, the interesting thing to note here is that there is no wait time in upscaling an image. It is because the output from version 5 is already an upscaled image. Let me give you an example. So let's go with a nice and easy prompt. Let's say, imagine a beautiful landscape with mountains in the background and a setting sun. Okay, first of all, wow, just wow. The images are no doubt photorealistic. Yes, option 2 doesn't look picture perfect, but look at option 1, 2 and 4. If you had told me that someone had captured this photograph of a real place, I could not have judged it to be anything else. Okay, let me upscale one of these options and I will not change the speed of the video. There it is. Within a second or so, we have our upscaled image. There again, I upscaled another one and here's my upscaled picture. It is really beautiful. But the point here is that you are already getting upscaled images. They have mentioned this on the announcement page as well that the default resolution of V5 is the same as an upscaled version of V4. Since the default output from version 5 is to give you photorealistic images, adding words like Octane, 8K or Unreal Engine would not have a lot of impact on our output. In fact, you will notice that these words might actually reduce the quality of output from mid journey. For example, if I give a prompt of a person standing on top of a mountain looking at a horizon with stars in the sky, Unreal Engine, the output is actually more tilted towards video game graphics. In fact, all four pictures out of mid journey have this distinct element of game like environment. Don't get me wrong, images are still beautiful, but they are not just what you would expect in a photorealistic environment because when you compare the same prompt, Without the Unreal Engine added to the end of the prompt, we get this image. I am pretty sure you can see the difference between the two images right now. These are much more realistic with lights on the mountain, the sky 
and even the clothes of the person. The person is in the distance, but we can still pick up the details. Another improvement V5 has over the previous version is that now you can actually create images with almost any kind of aspect ratio. So I tried out to see how the images would turn out. It's a basic prompt of a monkey hanging from a tree. And let's make a tall version of the image. I am going to give it an unusual aspect ratio. Let's go with 3 ratio 9. Okay, so this is the image I got. Obviously, the quality of the picture is just outstanding. Look at the monkey. No one can tell that this is not an actual monkey. But notice the aspect ratio. It is a tall picture and Mid Journey has tried to keep everything in perspective. Plus, you are getting your desired aspect ratios. So imagine the possibilities now. The biggest change that has come to version 5 as compared to version 4 is how it will understand our prompts. The Mid Journey team mentioned this in their live stream and has also written on their announcements page that version 5 is much more responsive to the prompts that we give. In fact, they tried to hammer in this point multiple times saying that we need to write prompts as sentences the way we did that back in school. Well, to be honest, I was actually one of those people who hated short prompts, which for me is a big, big change. They have tried to make Mid Journey understand the natural language as texts and the trade-off is that it is slightly more complicated to use Mid Journey if you are used to giving short prompts. So now, the output's quality will not be as good from Mid Journey if you try and write some keywords separated with commas. Now you will have to write a complete sentence to get a better quality output. But wait, this is only applicable when you are using version 5. You can still use the default version of Mid Journey, version 4, and still get all the great outputs that you are used to. For example, if you write futuristic building, mountains, cinematic, this is the result that you will get from version 5. Now, compare this with the output from Mid Journey. If I give the prompt, imagine a futuristic building with mountains in the background and cinematic lights. This image is much closer to reality and is slightly better than what we got in our first attempt. This means that we will need to be much more detailed when trying to create more complex images inside Mid Journey. The more detailed we are, the better will be the output from Mid Journey if you are using version 5. The best thing is that now you can actually use the prompts from ChatGPT directly without the need to remove details because now those details would be the difference between a good quality image and a great quality image. I had a lot of trouble when I was trying to produce hands in Mid Journey version 4. And the good news is that version 5 is much better at drawing human parts. I tried to create images of hands and they were pretty good at most times. Yes, it's still not perfect. You will still see some kind of deformity here and there with an additional finger or just a completely funky hand. But overall, in my testing, I have had more successes than failures. Mid Journey is now also great at drawing skin. If you are into creating photorealistic images, that is great news for you because you will notice that the skin is now much better textured with very realistic pores and skin color. All in all, much closer to an actual person. Mid Journey version 4 gave us these people with weird teeth. Every time I tried getting an image of a happy and laughing person, I would get an image of a person with something like 60 teeth. It was so bad that I almost stopped trying to get any image where the mouth of the character was open. But the good news is that the teeth are now much better. They are much more realistic and you will not get those creepy vibes from these pictures anymore. Another important point I want to share with you before we move on is the image weights. This is the newest addition to Mid Journey version 5. So previously, we could assign weights to texts in the prompts. But now, if you put some images in your prompts, you could assign weights to those images as well. So when I was doing a review of Blue Willow, I created this line. For those of you who have no idea what Blue Willow is, you should check out this video. It is sort of a competitor to Mid Journey and is free to use for now with unlimited generations. The link is also in the description. So coming back to the line, my first prompt is line in a busy street in New York, image weight 2. This image weight ranges from 0 to 2. So this is the image that we get. So there is our loin and we have a street in the background. But Mid Journey has given preference to the image and did not give us any detail of the busy street in New York. Let me take this image weight out of the prompt. So this is what we get without the image weights. There is definitely a difference in the images. Now we can see that there are people and cars in the background. So the street did not look important at all when we put in the image weight because that is what we were telling Mid Journey to do, to focus on the image we have uploaded. Okay, so let's get into Mid Journey and see what else we can get 
when we try some of our prompts since now with version 5 you have to put in all the details of what you want in the prompt this amazing prompt generated that i talked about a few days back is something that will come in handy there are some crazy details available on the website they have managed to gather hundreds of illustrators and painters and filmmakers along with different styles check this video out i promise you you will not be disappointed let's start with a beach with a surf shack and a volcano in the far distance i will try the prompt in both version 4 and version 5 so that you can see the difference between the two so this is what we were actually expecting a photorealistic image you cannot tell from any angle that this image is not of a real place look at the beach and the hut even the water looks realistic in comparison we have this image from version 4 so you can see version 4 converted the same prompt into an illustration these are still beautiful but very different images another prompt i tried was evil elf woman in a gown with a dagger and you can see which image was made by which model the one from version 5 is a clear portrayal of reality the colors of both are similar and that is the beauty of mid journey now if you want to go for realism you can use version 5 and if you are going for traditional art styles with bold colors and illustration styles you can stick to version 4 the choice is now entirely yours a beautiful victorian lady standing by a lake wearing an ivory dress with rowboats on the lake this prompt i think will make the difference more clear so this is the image from version 4 you can see how the image is made by default as an illustration these are still beautiful paintings but not photorealistic and then you have these images from version 5 these are clearly looking like an image taken out of a camera the detail of the boat the trees in the background and the water everything is picture perfect if you are still looking for help with your mid journey prompts you should check out this video on your screen and i will see you in the next video thank you for watching